in following videos we are gonna build our new home page using two APIs that I have collected and I we have we are going to build using two APIs and it will be there in your description now what we're gonna do we're gonna build out these two components as you can say this components can you say as a fates and this component can you say as a suggestion right so back to our code in our new home dot js we have to remove this one because we don't need it and we are gonna create this new div in this new div we need we are going to create two a component as you know uh, I'm for now I'm just going to uh, give the name suggestions we haven't created it but we are gonna create right now so it's saying like it has not been made so in here in components I'm going to create a new folder and says fits and in here in fits I'm going to create a new file fits.js now in fits.js what we're gonna create I'm just going to use import react from react and use what we're gonna use we you gonna use this class component because we are gonna use the API right and so we class fits extend so that we have the uh, functionality of react dot component that it gives the componented mount method so in state what we're gonna give we're gonna just give it fits to be null because there are none first of all and also we're gonna use componented mount for getting the data and also we're gonna use the render method to show the JSS synthesis that we're gonna use in here so uh, return something and we don't know what to return right now <laughs> so in here export default fits now in here I'm going to use the async await functionality so I'm going to use async await and response to const response equal to await and in our browser we need this https this link so i'm going to use fetch and use it here and also use const data equal to response.json to convert into JSON from it and we got the data you can see in your fits fits to be right yeah so we're gonna just give it fits now in here this dot set state to be fits now this is done now in here what we're gonna give we're gonna give a new div and in new div i'm just gonna give that uh, i'm going to extract the fits right so in here fits dot equal to this dot state now if the fits sorry fits is null like it's false so it will return nothing or we're just gonna give ampersand ampersand we don't have to write the question or the third like third if else you can say now in here what we need we're gonna use fits dot map and we're gonna map it but there are a whole block of things that we need right we don't have to use the attributes for each purposes so it gives like we're gonna spread it all the information inside this feeds right and in here what we can do it so it gives like it w it's gonna uh, ex spread out all the properties in one 
like one element and in here we are gonna use a new feed component in where we're gonna use this key to distinguish for each feed and also we're gonna spread all the information inside the feed we haven't created this feed component and we're just gonna create it right now so again i'm going to create a new folder called feed and in here a new file called feed dot js and i'm just gonna use import react from react and we are not going to do anything in here so i'm just gonna use this functional component in in here and i'm going to return something for now what we can do we're gonna just return the feed or we're gonna build it we're gonna just return for now just saying that s2 feed right we're gonna build it but after some time after maybe next video maybe explore default feed now this is what we need and in, in here i'm just gonna import it this has been imported we are done so basically i'm just gonna again clarify what it is what does this is mean that whenever this fits has elements let's say feed and i am just gonna spread out the properties in one element and in here i'm just gonna pass it through all the elements properties to this feed component this is what has been done in here in here now back to our new home i'm just gonna export these feeds in here and we have also not built this suggestions block so in our component right in our components.js i'm just gonna create a new folder called suggestions and also a new file called suggestions dot js and in here also we're gonna need a class component right because we're gonna use the component in mount for getting the data of the users so in here what we need we need a class and the class name is the suggestions and which extends to react.component and also we need the state and you can see in here users to be null and also we need component did mount and it should be asynchronous and we also need render part which is gonna return some JSX syntax and we also gonna export default suggestions and in here I'm just gonna import it using suggestions now in our where in our uh, uh, suggestions in here what we're gonna do in here sorry asynchronous component in mount we're gonna use const users so response right first we need response and a user wait use fetch face the users right so in here i'm just gonna copy this link back to code in here i'm just gonna use it and we're gonna get the users and we're gonna use await and response.json and use the this dot set state and use the users now again in here we're gonna use this div tag and also we're gonna use this 
oh we're gonna extract the uh, users right i have extracted the users now what we need we need the users if the users is null then it will not be run and if it is true then i'm gonna create a new user sorry i'm gonna map it out users dot map and again in the again same thing we're gonna use we're gonna use this curly braces to for each element to be spread out their properties and in here i'm just gonna give user uh yeah user is right now in here i'm just gonna create a new user component that i ha i haven't built it but i'm going to create it right now and the key should be and key should be what user dot id and also spread out all the information inside the user now that's it this is what we need in here so again we're gonna create a new components a new folder yeah and create a new user folder in here i'm just gonna create a new file called user oh sorry it should be user.js right <laughs> so in here user.js now in here i'm just gonna create a component based user uh, sorry functional component based so in here const user and use return h2 user right and also gonna export this export default user and just gonna save it in here and also i'm just gonna import it the user component and gonna save it and gonna save it <laughs> right this is all been done now just go to our code and just gonna see if it's working or not and just gonna get it oh my what's happened oh yeah we have we need here a wait right because it's a synchronous process now back to our code let's test it that it's working or not yep it's working we got all the face we also got the user so it seems that it's working we just have to show all the uh, these images and this block of code these users and we're gonna see in the next video that's all thanks